So would it be fair to say, based on the question the prosecutor asked you, Ms. Siberia wanted to fight. Mm -hmm. yeah. She did, um, Brooklyn did not want to fight. No, she told that she did not And Brooklyn did not shoot her at that point. No. Brooklyn instead got in her car to leave. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. When she got in her car to leave, the vehicle that Ms. Page was in blocked her in so she couldn't leave. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. And after they blocked her in, Miss Siberia got out of the car that she was in, walked up to the window, the driver's window. Before she got there, she snuck out of the way. And then she proceeded to reach into the driver's side, start beating her up. Yeah. And that's when she shot. Yeah. And the state of Georgia allows her to defend herself if she has reasonable apprehension of fear. Now, this was more than a reasonable apprehension of fear. This was an assault. This was an assault. She was, she came and she was beating her up. Why is she sitting in her car trying to leave after she blocked her in? So I, I do believe that the law is on her side, that she has an absolute right to protect herself. The case will go by way of probable cause to Superior Court. And as you have indicated, this court does not have jurisdiction to, to deal with the issue of bond on a, on a murder charge where probable cause is found. So it'll go to Superior Court by way of probable cause. And, and the arguments that uh, you're laying out will be presented to a, to a, to a jury. Two young people, I'm hearing 21 and 26 years old, so it's sad all around. And the mother of my client's mother, Ms. Johnson, had a, instructed me to express her sincere, sincere condolences because it's just sad, you know. Some babies don't have their mothers right now as we speak, and you know, that's sad. So I'm hoping there's some healing after this, and we'll just see where my client, client's defense goes from here.